A homeless camp in Aloha is growing and so are concerns surrounding it. People with developmental disabilities living in an apartment complex across from the camp say they're being harassed and threatened. Fox News' Michael Thomas spoke with people at that complex and has more on the issues. This homeless camp is about half the size of a football field and just feet away is where people with developmental disabilities live. They tell me that it's scary for them, but those in the camp say they have every right to be there. Along Shaw Street in Aloha, you'll find this homeless camp just feet away from an apartment complex where those with developmental disabilities live. Its director says at first the camps were fine, but that's changed. We didn't have any concerns. We didn't raise any concerns. As some people there have become more aggressive, both with our residents and our staff, the concerns are raising. Residents say they see drug use and are intimidated daily, leading some to regress with their development. A young lady who walks down the street on her own to the bus stop to go to work and she comes back down that same street and she may not understand all of the comments that come her way, but she shares those comments with us and makes comments like, I know it isn't right. I know it doesn't feel good. Well, some of the things are being said to her are appalling. Neighbors say they've reported it, but only saw porta potties placed in the camps days later. I reached out to the Washington County, but didn't hear back. People bring the camp's necessities, which frustrates neighbors. I asked the woman passing out goods today how she felt about neighbors' concerns. These people are just good people out here who have lost their homes. Wesley Renzama has lived in the area for 25 years. He's next door to the apartment complex and wants the camps gone, saying they've been aggressive since day one. They just came right over and told me that they're going to break into my house and take whatever they want. We've added quite a bit of lighting. and there's As for now, the complex put in fencing, lighting, and other safety precautions in hopes to help residents with developmental disabilities feel safe. But they all say something long-term needs to be done. We did reach out to Washington County, but again, we did not get a response. As the story continues to get updated, we'll continue to keep you updated. In the Mobile Newsroom, Michael Thomas, Fox 12, Oregon.